I pray the right man gives you your flowers without you having to ask. I hope your two lips get sun-kissed by your husband that will shower you with roses because God knows your rose can't love you like a man. I pray the grass is actually greener on the other side because you don't deserve for a man to take you on a merry-go-round to love you. And I hope the seeds that you plant bloom into a beautiful relationship because petals shouldn't drown in puddles. I pray you have a healthy love. It doesn't keep you up in the middle of the night questioning your why. I hope every man that says, I like you, doesn't let us chill you to death before you fall into a groove with another guy. See, you forgot what it feels like to be desired. I learned there's no orgasm without intimacy, so sometimes full play is required. Sometimes the simple things like reading to her and playing footsies be the little things that money can't buy her, and the little things that be so simple be the things that ends with you inside her. I mean, at this point, the bare minimum seems selfish. And knowing your worth is a reflection of how you get respected and settling for less lessens your value when someone would value you as a blessing. Pedal stools are surface level when you used to Mount Everest and having to ask for something when someone would give you something without having to ask be refreshing. Last night I went through our text messages and counted every hot emoji she texted me. Somehow feeling in love and being in love makes all the difference. That's why the next woman I give my heart to, she'll get the best version of me. I mean, looks is cool, but her soul got to be nourishing in me. I mean, I've been a bad guy in relationships, so I've been healing and working on me. I take accountability like it's medicine, because the welling on that pain is no personal thing. Poem. <laughs>